and the reactions at the ceiling. F3 acts at a point 0.16 meters below the level of the ceiling. First thing to do is to draw a free body diagram. The ceiling provides a force in the x direction and a force in the y direction and a moment because the ceiling will keep the J bracket from turning. Each of your distances is given and you have three applied loads acting around the various structures. Once you've got your free body diagram, it is beneficial to go ahead and write each of your forces in their Cartesian component form. F1 is 760 cosine 40, which is 582.19 in the I direction, and 760 sine 40, which is 488.52 in the J direction. Do the same thing for F2. F2 is 300 newtons cosine 45 in the I direction, and then minus 300 sine 45 in the J direction. F3 is going to be minus 200 cosine 30 in the I direction, and minus 200 sine 30 in the J direction. And A will be just AX in the I direction and AY in the J direction. Be careful here that you've matched whatever you put for your Cartesian form with whatever arrows you have. In addition to these four forces, we also have the moment A, which we defined based on how I drew it on the free body diagram, as positive in that direction. Once you've got all these things written down in their Cartesian component form, listing them in the equilibrium equations becomes somewhat trivial. You add the i's, add the j's, and set them equal to zero. That lets you know that ax is going to be minus 621.12, and ay is 176.39. The moment equation is slightly more difficult, but only because you have to keep track of more terms. If you sum the moments about point A, essentially you want to find each component and ask what its perpendicular distance is. So, the 200 Newton load, the X component passes through, no, the Y component passes through point A. It will not create a moment. But the X component, which would be 200 cosine 30, or 173.21, that will create a moment because its perpendicular distance is 0.16 meters. That will create a moment that tends to turn this way. The, if you're looking at F1, you have two different components. You have the 760 cosine 40, which tends to act at a distance of 0.12 that's the perpendicular distance for the X component, and it will spin the other way. You also have the 760 sine 40 that also acts at a distance. In this case, the distance is 0 0.01 meters. That will tend to spin it up counterclockwise as well. You have 300 cosine 45, which acts at the same distance, 0 0.12 meters and tends to spin counterclockwise. And then you have 300 sine 45 acting at a distance of 0 0.010 meters, which tends to spin point A counterclockwise. So those are your only forces that act to spin point A. That and MA, which is given in your free body diagram based on the picture on the direction you picked for your free body diagram. Assign signs, S-I-G-N-S's, based on which direction things tend to spin. So if we make the first one positive, then the second one is opposite it, it would be negative, 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 positive, and negative. All of those have to add up to be zero. You can solve then and find out that MA is 95.2 Newton meters. And given that our answer was positive, we know that the moment at the wall has to be in the direction we picked or counterclockwise.
three sig figs units and directions.